I've got good news and bad news for you at the beginning of today's episode in the RTD. The good news first is that Evans is back from his injury, seeing him restore his position in the starting lineup. He is our most creative player so far this season, so I'd like to think we'll see an uptick in form now that he's returned. We unfortunately, however, do have some bad news. That is that Richardson has rejected the short-term loan to go to Nashville, so currently he still is going to stay at the club for the foreseeable future. We will try and get another loan bid in for him if we can between now and the January transfer window or throughout the course of the January transfer window. It's a busy month of December, so we'll start with Stockport. We'll go and play Sutton. We'll sim Barrow in the Papa John's Trophy and then play Grimsby at home a little bit later on. And then tomorrow will be Colchester, Salford and Crewe and into the January transfer window. And so far, Glover is the third top goal scorer in the whole league with nine. Right, joint second top goal scorer in the whole league. However... Nobody else has more than one in League 2 so far this season, and we would very much like to change that if we can. And we'll start by playing Stockport, who are rock bottom of the table. No, they're not. They're second bottom of the table. Harrogate bottom still without a win, although they've drawn 10 and have only lost 9. But if you don't win games, you're going to be bottom of the table, aren't you, really? Drop the video a like. Let me know you're enjoying the content still and any feedback you've got, do leave it in the comment section down below as we push forward. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with a notification bell ticked and you won't miss any more of this save. I'm, I love these long-term RTGs. You guys love these long-term RTGs. Let's go and play some football. With Stockport being one of the admittedly few teams below us in the table, we want to get a win in this one. Paddy Madden up top is a very capable goal scorer. A former Cambridge United player at right wing back for them in Kyle Noyle. And if you know, you know Callum Davenport in their midfield. Had some flashbacks when I saw his name in their starting lineup. Stockport playing in their away kit that looks very much like an Argentina kit. It's Paddy Madden. I see around the corner to Camps, who has got some pace here. And, well, Woodson was in behind. Nobody anywhere near him. Stockport lead by a goal to nil. And Madden. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Woodson buries it. 2 0 Stockport. Out of nowhere, they've bagged two. Almost exactly as the clock ticked over to 10 minutes. Wooten adds his and Stockport second. And the side that a second bottom might be getting themselves out of the relegation zone here. After a bright start to the season that saw us mid-table. We are falling rapidly towards the bottom. And the clutches of those in the bottom three. And that is accurate enough as well. Paddy Madden makes it 3-0 Stockport. Travelling at half a mile an hour across the line. It's Wooten in again on a hat-trick. Look at that turn of speed and pace. Uh, something happened to my goalkeeper today. Because he's letting absolutely everything in. Cunningham has not performed like this all season. But everything stop put hit turns to gold at the minute. And I'm starting to worry about you, Mr Cunningham. Callum Davenport. Nice ball around the corner. Wooten. In again, over the bar this time. Stockport still just dominating us. Without any question, the worst first half of our season and our career here at the club. Is the way that Cunningham has been conceding goals in this game a sign, along with the rejection of the loan from Ruben Richardson, that he should be starting now? Camps down the line to Noyle. Oil inside to Wooten, who's already got three. He might be getting four. I think I need to. We need to give Cunningham a drugs test or a, a blood alcohol level test at the very least, because I think he's been on the piss last night. He's not saving anything at all. Connor Allen and Evans looking for Glover. Oh, we might get one. Oh my God, we won't get one back. Oh dearie me! If anything summed up our day today. It's that. This is the first time this season that you'd say that we've been embarrassed by an opposition. Not only is it a one-sided scoreline, but most of the shots were relatively comfortable or should have been relatively comfortable for the keeper. And they were second bottom. To lose at home by five goals to nil to second bottom is an embarrassment. Richardson will be in for the next game. And hopefully... That's the end of that. 
Sutton are a side right above us in the league. And after a game like the one against Stockport, all you want is a response. You can deal with one one-off random awful result, but you need to get back on the horse and go and get yourself a good result in the next game. We've travelled away. Richardson is into the starting lineup in goal, and Hogg is returned to the right-hand side of the midfield. Come on then, Hogg. You just need to find Glover here. Glover needs support. Here it's arriving. Evans! Wider the target. It's positive. It's better, but still not good enough. There's Dennis. There's Schofield. Oh, he's going to give a free kick for that. I'm not sure about that, ref. Pretty sure we got something on that and just outmuscled him off it. They're going to go for goal here. It's straight into the wall. Might try a second effort from open play. Randall. Oh. 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 That's even worse than what we've been doing. That's your boy. Can we get to that with Francis? No, keeper's ball. Oh, not keeper's ball. Deary me, Richardson. What are you playing at, son? So not have any luck with either goalkeeper at the minute. Evans hopefully will make a decent run again, which he has done. And then support here from Connor Allen. Tipped over the top by the goalkeeper, Rose. Needed saving. Still, we're under pressure at the end of the first half. Eastman. It's a lovely ball through the gap. And Smith is in the box. I can't get near him. And it's 1-0 Sutton. I'm not looking over my shoulder now at the bottom end of the bottom couple of spots. I've fully turned around. We are staring at the relegation zone at the moment. They just put me under pressure so quickly. Sutton. It has us flustered. As your boys in the box. Good save by Richardson. Good double save by Richardson. Great reactions from the youngster. To deny Sutton a second, we're still in the game, but at the minute, only thanks to that man in goal. Oh, as if... Good save, Richardson. The deflection falls very kindly for them. The goalkeeper down to it quickly. Angle is on for Sutton here. And it's going to be won by their man. And Richardson is up to meet it. Oh, he's beaten his man. It's brilliant from Hogg. And he's in behind here. I'm going to have to go all the way with him. And we very nearly do. It's a good save by the keeper. It's going to be back-to-back -back defeats here. It's better, but it's still not good enough. We lose to another side around us in the bottom half of the table. We had chances in that game to score goals, but they have been what have evaded us so far. But with only one striker in Glover of any quality whatsoever, I'm not sure what to do. Might be a formation change, but I can't really put two up top because nobody else... I have is going to be good enough in that position. We need a rethink, that's for sure, though. Something that has been mentioned in the comments section previously that is an idea that I very much like is the idea of a chief scout that is perhaps one level higher than the other scouts that we have. So what I've done is sacked one of my one star, one star. The intention was to find a one star, two star, but they don't exist. We've wasted nearly a million pounds in uh, budget hiring and firing scouts trying to find a one star two star so we have been able to get someone with two star judgment so two, the judgment is going to be the more important of the two when it comes to how good the scout is so rather than get a two star three star we're going to go with a three star two star so the judgment is still only one star higher up than the level we're currently playing at two star two star scouts don't exist either in our experience so far you get one star one star and then you're straight to the two three or three two in that regard so we're going to go with the three two so he's not quite as good as a two three and we have a chief scout alexander komar is coming in as a chief scout and because we're now actually where are we scouting currently wales and england there because we're in a position at the moment where we're starting to figure out what sort of area we what we're needing players i'm going to go for defensive minded players so we can get those center backs and uh potentially a cdm as well because obviously conceding goals is the main area of our concern at the minute scoring them is also a, a, an issue but hopefully those other two scouts can come up with a striker that will give us something to go for in that area 
We're also, of course, waiting on some position changes for other players to potentially give them the opportunity to maybe start up top alongside... Glover. I've again tweaked the formation and the individual instructions, so we'll see what happens there as well as we progress through. Here, though, we're going to quick sim the cup game against Barrow in the Papa John's Trophy, and we win by a goal to nil. Hogg went for one in the 86th. We're through to the next round. Our cup football has been very good so far this season, at least in the Papa John's, although obviously I didn't necessarily do that well in the FA Cup with a defeat to Carlisle. Now, Grimsby here. I very much need victory against. Please, can we score some goals and get a win? Grimsby Town. Max Crow coming goal for them. Josh Emanuel at right back is 67 rated, so he's going to be particularly difficult to play against. But they're only a four back, not a five. So, fingers crossed, we can break through that line. And with a 4 1 4 1, they're quite defensive as well. So, if we play on the front foot, then maybe we can get the win. But at the minute, I really do crave. I will change squad numbers for the next episode as well, as that's been one of the main concerns from you guys in the comments section. You just need to find Glover. Just kept it in play. Oh, please. Oh, how are you missing that? How are you missing that? I'm sorry. But when my strikers are this bad, I... Oh... <laughs> That's the first time I've been like, oh, come on now. How, from this position, is he putting that there? That's unacceptable. Khan is in behind and he's racing away. And he really got the one man to look for and Clark, well, intercepts it. And then, I'm not getting any luck today, lads. Not getting any luck. My defender's intercepted it and then locked off it. He's done really well to get to the ball first, and then it hits him on the shoulder, and he just ignores it. Oh! Everything about today has been unacceptable. Kennedy in a good position, and we'll send Glover away. Come on, Jensen. I need you to actually finish this time, please. Thank you, mate. 1-1. One, Thank the Lord. He can still score goals. Evans looking for Glover again. Are we getting deja vu? No, I don't know whether the keeper saved that or he's just put it straight into the stand. I think the keeper got something on it. He didn't. He's put it straight in the stand. It's not deja vu. Well, technically, I guess it is. It's not deja vu from the goal. It's deja vu from his horrible miss earlier on. Morris. Holohan. Oh, slow to ground, but thankfully still gets to it. I've got Evan square of me. Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Come on, Jensen. Win this header, please, son. Oh, he's been dominated in the air there. They've won that well. And Morris has the overlapping run here. A shot. And he's got Evans inside. He then has Glover around the corner. Please, Jensen. Yes! Jensen! AFC Chesnoid 2. Grimsby 1. I'm so desperate for that winning feeling once again from a played game. And we might now just get it. Still heavily reliant on Jensen Glover for our goals. But Evans is creative again. We might be getting three points. Morris and Sharp. Morris going. He's got the legs. Nobody catches Isaac Morris in this situation. Unless he forgets the football. Tugged back there. I don't know what Morris is doing. I was so far away from everyone. And he's forgot the ball. I don't know what he's doing. I can't believe it. This time, I'm going to try and narrow it up a bit. And Isaac Morris to send us potentially two goals. Clear! Croken with an unbelievable save. Off the post to deny us a third goal. I cannot quite believe it. Talk about putting your body on the line. It's an unbelievable save from the free kick. And then... Uh, ow. Ouchie. That's, that's, that's going to smart, that one. Castro, look at the run from the fullback. Sharp. Good position. Castro has made the run. Bursting beyond the man. Into the middle. Morris. Brilliant stop. Crocombe keeps Grimsby in it. Park. Around the corner. Castro. Evaristo Castro. Swishes at it and the defender takes it away. Free kick in a, a position that could be of some promise here. Vaughan. Under control. Will go for a worldie. 
and he's hit the bar and it won't quite reach Morris. Wow. It would be just our luck today if it runs out and we aren't able to see this victory through. He's onside. Through the keeper's legs. And we aren't going to see the victory through. It's going to be 2-2 against Grimsby. Breaks the offside trap. And the finish is absolutely brilliant. Keeper's rushing and it's just underneath him. It's going to be a 2-2 draw against Grimsby. We've come so very close to getting victory today in this final game. Feels like yesterday where we could have beaten Bradford. We could have got a win here as well against the team that was highest ranked in the table that we've played today. That was our best performance for a little while actually. And is needed really from a motivational point of view to prove to me that yes we can put together a good performance. And hopefully if we can do that more often than not moving forward then eventually the results will start to come. We're definitely in a bit of a difficult phase, but with a side that is as bad as ours, that is going... City have just scored a fourth. With a City that's as bad as ours, that is always going to be the case at times. You just have to knuckle down and get on with it. I'll sort the uh, squad numbers out for the next episode. And in that next episode, we will have three more big games. But that point lifts us from 22nd up to 20th. We move further away from the relegation zone. And still only three points off 16th and only two games off 13th at the top end of the bottom half. Continually, all it's going to take is just a run of two or three straight victories and we'll be comfortable in the division. Colchester, Salford and Crewe though, three of the best teams in the league. So tomorrow is going to be really tough. Hopefully that Chief Scout can find something for us in the month of January. Hopefully we can hold on to our best players in the month of January as well. Results are coming. I can feel it. Can you? We'll see you tomorrow.